All right. Wasn't that exciting. So I didn't plan for Useless Man to ever be in this house. But he's gonna be in this house. I guess he can be make himself useful. Tell you what, you do that. And... Turn that off. Shh. Quiet. Oops. I wanted to close the panel. There we go, make everything look pretty. Oh, by the way. You can open up the old-fashioned radio. There's a radio tube in it. We'll leave that there, though. That's not for us. And you're gonna look just pretty in there, surfer dude. Just keep your bare feet away from the glass, yeah? Alright. So... Dave here is the strong one. He worked the hunk uh, Wendy didn't have her chance. So I'm going to have him come out here and open up some bushes. And open this grating, which is incredibly easy for him. Because he is swole. And now... See, you are the master of keys right now. I do believe you can be the one who goes out here. And now that you opened up the way for Wendy, she can come down here. Wendy is still our... our designated character, but, uh... We need someone who used the Honkomatic. So... It's quickest if Dave goes out here and does this. I suppose you might as well, by the way, just pick up the flashlight. We will be making use out of that eventually. Just haven't done so yet. <laughs> While we're here, go ahead and pick up this glass jar too. And use the silver key in that door. All right, I remember the correct key. Good work, me. And default is walk to. It's a wonderful pool. It's majestic. Doesn't it look so comfortable? It has like the beautiful chair out there and everything. Well, uh. Do 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 do. Alright. Totally safe to come down here. It emptied out really fast, everyone. That's not what I meant to do. Pick up. Radio. Pick up glowing. Ah, damn. Oh no, the pool's empty again. We're gonna have another meltdown. How can I take over the world when I'm on a budget? I always get stuck with you for buffet. Boy, is the meteor going to be pissed. Meteor, huh? Technical, front and center. Yes, sir, Dr. Fred, sir. That's the purple tentacle right there. He's at our disposal, or Dr. Fred's disposal. Quick, go check out the reactor. Yes, sir. And so we don't die. Let's go ahead and pick up this key, and then walk to the ladder. All right. Freedom. Let's just turn that off. Everything's okay. Purple Tentacle doesn't have to go check out everything. Everything is okay. We grabbed the radio. Let's open it for some batteries. Batteries! And use the batteries and the flashlight. There we go. Now the flashlight has batteries. This is a garage door. We used a hunk of Matic, so it's no problem at all to open that. However, we do need to use a key to open up the trunk. Likely we have the yellow key. Ta -da! Pick up the tools. All right. Happy days are here for everyone. And one more thing before we go. We have this glass jar. We'll use this uh, to collect some uh, radioactive water. Hooray. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Grimmith, 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 the Explorer. Everyone meet back up in the front hall. That's the best place. Also, yes, that's a chainsaw, everyone. That's a microwave oven. Hmm. Happy days. Wendy, you are no longer required to be down there. Let's go. Yeah. 
Sound effects totally necessary. All right. Why don't you just take everything, Wendy? Oops. I want you to have it all. I'm pretty confident I don't even need the radio anymore. So I'm gonna give it to her too. Let's let's gloat in our amazing inventory space. Also, uh, should your character die for whatever reason, you don't get the inventory back. Don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. <laughs> nope, not a problem. All right. Well, Dave, we will have need of your services. Wendy shall lead the charge up here first, though. Running into here, I forgot to pick up some paint thinner. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. Or paint remover, excuse me. My apologies, everyone. Back through the steel security door that uh, once served as copy protection. Whoosh, up the stairs. Past the dark room where you develop film. It's not a concern for us. We don't have Michael on the team. Past the nurse's room and Weird Ed's room. And, uh, our mummified uncle. Well, not our mummified uncle. This mummy of 982 BC. Oh, while I'm in there, what the hell. There you go, get swole. Back into this room. It's a lovely little portrait room. Look at how amazing that is. Really. Also, look at this little adorable guy. Look at him. He's a man eating plant. Nom, 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 nom. Tell you what, guy. Why don't you have a can of Pepsi? And then have this innocuous jar of water. Mmm. <laughs> and there's a paint blotch here. Let's go ahead and take care of that. Hey, don't you get all excited up there. Now everyone's favorite game, where is the light? Turn on the light. Neat. All right. Well, hey, because I didn't do this uh, while Wendy was down here, you can do it right now. Pull gargoyle. Wiggle your little feetsies down here, buddy. We'll get your girlfriend in no time. Your services are no longer required, surfer dude. Go hang out in the radio room. Again, watch your feet. Alright, we have our working flashlight. We have our tools. We're ready to go. Open. Use box. Turn off circuit breakers. You use flashlight. Uh, excuse me. Turn on flashlight. Uh oh. Use tools on wires. Oh great! Show and set the fire. Fuck! However, take away the world face of this camera. So same idea. Purple tentacles going out. Just go ahead and skip past that. There we go. Dave, run and hide. I think we did that so fast, like we did the uh, the pull thing, that uh, purple tentacle won't show up. But I've been known to be wrong from time to time. Who's a good plant you are? Yeah, huh? You're such a good plant. I could bring Jeff up here to get swole, but, uh... <laughs> nah. He doesn't need it. Alright, I think we're good, Dave. Let's go. Also... There's your wonderful little scrub tear interface for not using hotkeys to do this shit.
All right. Dave, we want you up there. By we, I mean me. So get your ass up there. Well, I guess since Jeff's in the neighborhood, he can do uh, what I was thinking of, too. Why not, right? We're uh, gonna stick a thumb in, uh, in Ed's eye for changing the script on me in the first episode. It's a dick move, Ed. Server dude can do it. Let's put everyone in position first. Everyone's in position. Now, if I were a doorbell, what would I do? Again? Yes, again. Get red, kid. Ah. Oh. Wendy, use hamster on him? Give hamster? Oh, my poor little hamster. Thank you so much. I hope my package comes soon. Yeah, I hope so too, buddy. So that was a uh, get out of being at carted off free card. Because uh, I went too fast. No, but seriously, Ed. Doorbell. Again? We're gonna wait some more time this time. Also, there's adorable hamsters in there, yes. Four, five, six. Okay. Open the piggy bank and Oh no, we broke it. Pick up dime. I think I got dimes. I think we're good, guys. We have dimes for days. We have two dimes. <laughs> hey, at least you got your hamster back. And at least I don't have the right party composition to microwave them. Yeah, that's a thing that can happen. All right, good work, surfer dude. I'm so glad you came along with us. Go ahead and open that door. And go back into the room with all the glass. That's where you belong. <laughs> all right. So, next step of yawn. Just yawn. <laughs> A cutting scheme. <laughs> Alright. I think enough time has passed. I think Weird Ed's back in his room now. Let's go stop by and see the nurse. Oh, an unwelcome visitor! I got you, Nui. You're lucky you're not a boy, or you'd be in big trouble now. Oh my. How scandalous. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Pick up. Kate, not nightstand. Pick it up. Go, 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 go. She can pursue us up ladders. Run. All right. If I were a light, I just moved over. All right. Hmm. Dr. Ed's busy right now. Dr. Fred, excuse me. Man, doesn't matter. So we're up here now. We have a safe. And the scrawled number, which is too tiny to read. Damn it. What the hell is even the point of living, right? It's okay. Wendy, it's a good thing they don't take our inventory, huh? Oh, by the way, there is a, uh... I didn't talk about it. There's a brick in here. It's a loose brick. 
There we go, I moused over it there. I I've already forgotten exactly where it's located, but if you have, like, two kids stuck in here, one of them can hold down the loose brick so that the other one can escape. I haven't really talked too much about the game, uh, but this is exactly where we need to go, in here. If I use the glowing key, I can open up that top padlock. And we're actually able to open up the bottom padlock, too. And that opens the outer door. But we need something else to get through the inner door. We need a key combination. We're working on that right now. Well, we're actually working on something else. We have to deal with the purple tentacle, guys. Spoiler alert. Anyway, since Wendy's alone in here, she'll have to use the old rusty key, which is optional. You don't have to get it. I got it out of convenience. I know I haven't really explained the gameplay or taken the time to, like, observe surroundings. I figured either you'd pick it up as you went along, or you would. <laughs> Well, they do. How about that, right? Past our coffee protection, still security door. And back up the stairs we go. <laughs> Takes a lot of footsteps to get up these stairs. Whoosh. Fantastic work, Wendy. Now let's go back into the room with the giant man-eating plant. We are going to use him like a ladder now. The man-eating plant is burping. Right. What's going on in here, guys? Really powerful telescope? And a coin slot? Hmm. Well, let's go ahead and feed some money into the coin slot. That's not what I meant. There we go. Use dime in coin slot. Use dime in coin slot. Use right button. Push right button. Now we'll use the really powerful telescope. One, two, three, zero. Spider. Right. Hooray! Now there's a sealed envelope in here. Alright, happy days for everyone. Alright, Wendy. Our work here is done. God only knows how you told... <laughs> how you told him that, but you got the information across just fine. Now it's time for everyone's favorite game. Oh, I suppose I should show off what happens if a boy actually gets caught by her, huh? Let's go. Don't be too creeped out, everyone. How silly of me. I should have tied you to my bed. Internal screaming. Well, we have ourselves our very own sealed envelope. What's it say? It's a blank envelope. It's a blank sealed envelope. Holy shit. We have ourselves a skeleton here. There's a barred window. It's all barred and shit. No one's allowed in. Candle holder. No, seriously, I forgot exactly where the loose brick is. Okay, there it is. Now, if you push the loose brick, that door opens over there. But it closes. Holy shit. Alright, I figure it's probably fine for us to leave. Let's go. Come along, Wendy. We're doing God's work. We have to go rescue him. Hey. You're still on the house. Let's make use out of you. Good work. I knew I could count on you, surfer dude. Way to go. <laughs> Who 
we'll hit those beaches in no time, bruh. You're free! Happy days! Everyone congregate in the main hall. It's where we ended last video. Might as well be where we end this video, too. There's like... It's... It's... I'm not remembering my words right now. <laughs> Tell you what I do remember, though. Other than this unholy fusion, this video is done. It's over. I'll see you next time.